Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another wonderful Friday, another edition of Studio 5191 Presents Stirring the Pot. I am DJ Sly Fox, and my host right there with me, DJ RB3000. How you doing, I sir? I am here. Oh, yeah, I how, you are where? <laughs> I couldn't tell what you. I am here. Oh, here. Hi, RB. Hello. Hello. We got Dr. Renee in the building. Uh, Dr. Renee has the distinguished the distinguished uh, honor in being the first person here. Yes, yes, that means before myself. <laughs> that means before Sierra today. Like she was here first, so that's shout out to Dr. Renee for that. Ko in the building. How you doing, sir? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like him. I'm about to go outside. <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna join on here. I'm gonna mute this one. And then I'm here. All right. Whew. So with that being said, I don't know if y'all can y'all can hear me. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 So I'm gonna be walking and talking. That's the name of the game today. I got a big, a big tall boy. I'm gonna drink me a what they call them Bud Bud Light. No sponsorship deals or nothing. So I'm going to be drinking that Bud Light on my own accord, of course. But we're going to get to the topics. Uh, DJ RB, uh, I had started I started the questionnaire already. I asked Dr. Renee, how was her week? What did she do? Did she do anything worthwhile talking about? Dr. Renee, what was your answer? Schoolwork, writing papers. Schoolwork, writing papers. I'm going to ask you this again. I ask you all the time. But when are you going to be done? The in between March and April of 2026. 2026. Yeah, I got another year and a half to go. Hey, five, five semesters, but a year and a half. Five semesters. So mm -hmm. that's the five one. And we need to do nine something. What's the nine about? Say that five, again? Semesters. five semesters, one class. Nine. I'm taking two, two classes each semester. I have two classes starting Monday from mon from okay, so that's from five, August through October because there's only three semesters in a year. So I got two classes for the that's... fall semester. The spring semester starts in January. Okay. I have two classes. And then the summer semester starts in June. That's when I start like wrapping it up because I have a, three research projects at the end. So mm -hmm. for, the, for the summer semester, it's one research project. For the fall semester, it's the second research project. And for the last semester, it's the third research project. So, <laughs> I'm I know in there somewhere, in all that explanation, there is a five, a one, a nine, and a one in there. There you go. So I'm not tripping <laughs> at all. That's, that's a good stuff. There you go. Five, one, nine, one. Yep. Yes, indeed. All right. So, uh, RB, what's going on, man? I, I, we don't see you often. How you feeling? You're muted, though. You're muted. I'm feeling extremely wonderful, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fun of that. Oh man, you talk, it's not like you're talking with a slur there or something. Uh, it's a slippery slurry. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. All right, uh, Ko, 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 welcome to the party. How you feeling, man? I ain't heard from you in a. And I, I'll take that back. It's the opposite of way around. You ain't heard from me in about a week. What you been up to? Hearts. Love. He love love. Me and, me and K.O. was just working, you know. Gotta go to work in the morning, too, so. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so the pool is I'm about closed. to ask you to do something, but I'm, I'm going to doze off at some point. What you was going to ask me to do? When I asked you earlier, was you not gonna do something? Oh no, you asked me if I was gonna uh, get out tonight. I ain't had no plans to, as you can see right now. 
this is my view, Jason Michael style. Mm. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink this, and I'm gonna uh, talk to y'all. Uh, that's my plans for the night. After that, I'll probably go get back on the game. Since I figured out Matt, oh shit, I done figured out Madden. So, you know, your boy's in the building now. But anyway, Sierra, how you feeling tonight, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that good. I'm, okay. I'm all right, just chilling before work tonight. You know, same shit oh. every Friday. Oh, you driving to work tonight? <laughs> Yeah, and somebody that's, else's that's car, yeah. Oh, you thugging, man. I wish I wish I could just drive somebody else's car. It's bull. It's all right. I'm going to blow all these motherfuckers up. You're going to get gay by the other shit. Hey, all I know is I see that picture right there. And, uh, like I said, I don't, I, I don't think I'll be heard me when I said it, but your picture is screaming, screaming, begging for some back shots. That's crazy words. I'm saved, so that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> what, I've been saved for a long time. Save yeah, for yourself. Yeah, for <laughs> no, save the Lord has changed my way. All right, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, I love she Jesus. She said, she said, might have to go. <laughs> might have to go gospel gangsta on somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Getting that gospel gangsta <laughs> in your sister. It's real. <laughs> Well, all right, look. The, the, oh, wait, the pleasantries is not over. Be love. How you feeling, sir? What's cracking? Hey, How you B. feeling today? Sure, I'm good. Just uh, came in from getting me some scratch offs. Uh oh. Y'all win. Y'all, if y'all randomly hear him yell, y'all scream out loud, y'all know what happened. Nah. I, to see. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, when you lose, you can file the moles on your tag. Say what? When you can file losing tickets on your tax. Nah, that's not true. I found that out. Man, Man. Natalie, Natalie Dad it, did it for years, so you might have to ask somebody who knows this. I mean, yeah, until you get audited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, me being an accountant, I can say all these tickets right here be like, I mean, I it should be. I agree. But I looked on there, so you know what I'm saying. It's, I mean, I guess you could. It's a loophole, right? Because it's like you have, to, you you have to, yeah. Unless you get, like when you go to the casino, right? It's like like you said, thing. like you said, until you get audited, because you have to. Then when you get audited, you have to prove it. Yeah, yeah. You can well, claim I mean, you can claim losses on your tax. Whatever you keep all them losing tickets, that's the proof. <laughs> As a yeah, nigga that, has, that has been has, audited, auditing is not fun. Okay, being audited. Well, when you lose, when you your lose, losing those has to, up. your losing has to be over your winnings. Oh, definitely. Yeah. When you, when you lose at the casino and all scratch offs, those school, some of that money goes to funding schools, but they do not fund schools that teach probability because. Probability is a skill tactic that helps you buy bad shit and win. Oh, wow. That's right. That's wow. right. Learn something because I know this. I've actually won more scratch offs than I lost. I just, I have a, a, a thing where I don't buy scratch offs except for once a month. And the only other time I would buy it is if, if I won, I would use the scratch off money that I used to win to buy another scratch off. So, if I spend, if I go for my first of the month and go give me a scratch off, if I spend twenty dollars on a scratch off, whatever I want off that scratch off, I will buy another scratch off with it if I wanted to that month. Yeah, but I would never enough. spend another. Yeah, I would never spend another twenty dollars or whatever so, on the scratch off. That so month. if you scratch it with a quarter and you doing that and have a toothpick in your mouth, you'll be the average black old school. <laughs> See, hey, hey, be that as it may, I never use a quarter to scratch though. I use a dime. I mean, I use a nickel because it got a flat, yeah, flat edge. Oh yeah, be careful out there, Renee. I hear y'all got an escape murder. Oh, M no, he, he was murder. caught. He was My caught. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, well, if fun. anybody around Port Arthur right. be safe, they got to escape Cougar. He got. He actually got caught with somebody. He got no, caught I, with. I, he got caught with somebody that um they said he had a phone conversation with, and they're not sure if this woman was in a relationship with him or not. But he got caught with her, and she got arrested also for aiding and abetting. Mm, mm, mm. Man, mm -hmm. I hate Aiden and Ben. Oh, the power of the P. <laughs> <laughs> Every time escape, I ate a bit, never mind. That escape cougar thing is a real thing, like an actual cougar, like the feline not, cougar. It's not, they did not dispel it. It was a house cat. <laughs> and the wow. thing is, the, <laughs> the thing is, B, they're trying to figure out how he got out of his um ankle. Uh, Lockdown. I'm thinking butter, like you know, child line wrapped, rubbed them around his ankles and slipped them off. Yeah, yeah I learned he, was from a, he was in a transportation yeah. vehicle, so he had to do that while he was in there. The name's Frank. Maybe just hard to break your ankle, you can slip right mm -hmm. out of it. Mm. Say that again. Yeah, but he but he took off running after it. He ran into the, the woods. Yeah. I don't think he, yeah, I don't think he broke his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a good one. I really want to know this because this this is crazy to me. All right, we. I don't know if y'all seen Doctor Renee posted this post in the in the new group, and I'm I'm not. That's the last time I'm gonna say the new group because there ain't no old group. It's just the group. So this is the last time I'm gonna say it. So Doctor Renee posted a post in the group. And it was about borrowing five dollars in a circle. It's three people, and each of them owed some money to somebody. I think the first dude owed dude ten dollars, and the other two owed each other five dollars, right? So dude was like, "Hey man, where the ten dollars I, I borrowed from you?" And he said, "Yeah, I got five. You can uh, that take care of that until you know whenever." And dude was like, "Hey man." Here's that five dollars I borrowed from you, and then dude was like, "Hey man," to the dude that had that borrowed ten. Hey man, here's that five dollars I borrowed from you, and then old boy said, "Hey man, here's that other five that I sell job pay you," and everybody was even. And I'm like, it seems like it should. This is the crazy part about it. it seems like it shouldn't make sense, right? But it a hundred percent makes sense because mm -hmm. you know it's just basically saying. If I owe you five dollars, you owe me five dollars. I owe you five dollars. That's just it's blank. Nobody owes nobody nothing. But then the other dude had to get that one got five dollars because he's the one that owed ten. But looking at that video, it's like no, somebody still owes somebody something because but, and that, legit and, and, only five dollars changed hands to one person. It still made sense though. It don't make sense to me. No, it don't. <laughs> Cause, cause the dude that that's old ten still somebody owes him five dollars. No, that's okay. how I was thinking, so, but he still owes somebody five dollars. At the end of the day, he ended up with five dollars. Okay, he so, owes somebody else five. So, so let's do this. Um, uh, slide. Let's mm -hmm. take you, you, B Love, and K O. You okay. owe K O ten dollars, but all you got is five. So you give KO five dollars and you still owe him five. Right. KO owes B five dollars. So KO gives B the five dollars that yeah. he owes. Right. So B Love owes you ten. So wait, now he owes five. Wait, wait, five. Wait, wait. Everybody owes each other ten dollars. Okay. But you, you, you Sly, you, you okay, everybody owes each other ten dollars, but Sly owed Sly only gave Ko five dollars, okay. so Sly still owes Ko five dollars. Uh -huh. Ko owes you ten dollars, B, so he gives uh -huh. you dollars. So now I'm, he not gonna keep, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like hold that until you get my ten, bro. Wow, <laughs> so you ruined the whole scenario because you want your. Your whole money. Yeah, want, all you I had to do was wait. 100%. All you had to do was wait thirty seconds so you can get your whole ten. I would have got a. I would have got a five in circulation twice. Hold on, that's your right. ten dollars. Right. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> but but, but, but with that would the, problem, <laughs> the problem I have with that is my money would be coming from somebody that don't owe me just to pay somebody I owe. Mm, that, is, that is incorrect. So, that is incorrect. All right, so let me give you the full scenario because Dr. Dr. Renee was trying to explain it. She she kind of she kind of dropped the ball a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, so in 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 order, I'm gonna say me, Ko, and B Love. Okay, I have a five dollar bill in my pocket, but I owe Kevin ten dollars. All right, Kevin owes oh, Bishop, Bishop. Kevin owes Bishop five dollars. Bishop owes me five dollars. Now they can hold dispel this whole thing where since I owe Bishop five dollars, I should just get him the five dollars. But that's not what happened in this situation. In this situation. I owe Kevin 10. So I say, Kevin, I got $5. Here, give, take this. Kevin say, okay, cool. Then he goes like, shit, well, I see Bishop. I owe Bishop $5. He gives Bishop the $5. So now he even with Bishop. Bishop owes me $5. So Bishop give me the $5. Now Bishop good even with me. So Kevin and Bishop don't owe nobody nothing no more. I have $5 in my hands, but I still owe Kevin $5. <laughs> so now I give Kevin the $5. He put the money in his pocket. It's even. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it don't seem like it should make sense, but no, it makes not. sense. <laughs> it don't like make that, sense if we're all in the same room and you did that. It would make sense if by cash app rules it would. <laughs> I'm about to tell see so, so, so obviously everybody didn't see it. Let me let me tag. Uh, it, it makes sense if somebody tried not to overthink it. Right. right. Mm-hmm. I just tag Bishop in it so he can see it. And I don't know if KO sauce. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm sure kidding. He understand. Too. He just being an ass about it. You should sure <laughs> right there, he just Arthur. Stirred up pot. <laughs> you sure. What he said last week? I'll just stir the pot. I'm starting to be stirring the pot here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I'm. Oh my God. This thing is so blingy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I All thought right, it so, was a steal. I didn't know. I didn't know it moved at first. I was like, "What?" Kept in check only by the sub on stable. Mm -mm. Wait, what? It's real life. What you got, Kale? Nothing going on. All right, so I put, I made this post uh, last week. It say sometimes you get what you ask for. It's a nice little story about. Mr. One, one Sylvester Stallone, when he was doing Rocky Three, and he cast Club Elaine, he he cast uh, Ernie Shavers, who was the heavyweight uh, boxer. Burn. Now, right, so he he cast him as Club Elaine, and when they was you know doing scenes, they was filming or whatnot, he uh, told him, "Hey man, give me what you got, man." You know, he was throwing weak punches and stuff. And he wanted to wanted it to look real for the recording, and. Old Buck gave him a gave him a real punch while they was recording it. He broke he broke this nigga ribs or some shit, and he had to sit out for a couple months to, while while they was doing recording. So he he thought he had the part, but then they ended up doing Mister T as Club Lane because old boy really injured Rocky. So at times, that's the the moral of the story is be careful what you ask for because sometimes you just might get it. And now you fucked this man out of a, a potential role that could have launched his career into the next atmosphere. But now he's sitting at home just being a, a legendary boxer. Trying yeah. to be a tough guy. Right. And and, and it's the, the the messed up part to me is it was Stallone trying to be a tough guy. But since he got all the juice, now old boy out of a job. Like that's that's kind of jacked up. You don't think it was Ernie trying to be a tough guy? No, no, I think if I'm if I'm, I'm throwing weak like, punches, if he's if a I'm weak punches, boxer, right? And you said give it to me a little more. You know you can really punch. You know you can punish this dude, but he's paying you, so you could give him a little bit more, but not right. break his ribs. Now you're out that, of a job. But what if that was just a little bit? Yeah, what if he just turned it up a little bit and then he just broke that man ribs because he because he's not a boxer. He could. I turned it up just a little bit. I could have gave you more. I could have collapsed your whole shit. Are, you, are just, we? Are we upset that he's the real boxer, or that Club Elaine, the actor, is not? No, nah, I'm. I'm good with Mr. T. I love Mr. I'm T. Good with Mr. T. Too. 
So but what I'm, I what I'm thinking just, on is, all right, it was, it, it's kind of like on the episode. I mean, on the uh, movie uh, Deep Cover, right? When the dude yep. was testing all of the cops to see what, how they would ra- react to the N word, and the one dude that just went in, he didn't get the job. Mm, because you need to compose yourself as a cat. There's a level of, there's a level of professionalism on whatever you do. Even but, Bruce Lee had to pull his punches, even yeah, though he Bruce, did. What I was gonna say, but Bruce Lee was a bitch about that though. He would feel like nah, you gotta you just gotta take it if I do. Like man, nigga, you can you can let off. That ain't like the, the, famous, time. the famous Chanel said, "That's all I have." That's what I would have told the jail. <laughs> I, that, but it's crazy though because this dude really was trying out for their role. He was throwing. He was he was not really giving them punches. He was giving them a little bit, and. Rocky trying to be a tough guy because it's nigga, this is the third movie I done did. Nigga, I'm like, you might as well put me in a real boxing match. You know, this is the third Rocky. I, I could take the punch by now. And you found out he really couldn't. And now it ain't fuck, it ain't fuck Stallone. It's fuck this guy, Ernie, who was just trying to get a job. I think that's some bullshit. And I think as a boss or as a somebody in charge or something, I think you should stop asking for more than what you uh, expected to take because he wasn't ready for that shit. He thought he, he was. was. Hmm. Yeah. But if you look at the history of Rocky movies, that shit happened more than a few times where niggas just hit each other and they get mad for real. Yeah. It happened on Black Dynamite with uh, Bullhorn. That, 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 uh-huh. that was funny though. That was scripted and it was funny. And that's I think that was poking uh, funny. Uh, let me have my moment. I'm staring at no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you your moment back because I think it was funny because it was poking fun at shit like that in real life. Where you'll see a nigga recast because of some something or another that didn't happen right. But then on there, we knew exactly why the nigga got recast because he hit bullhorn for real. And yeah, so yeah, I get it. It's good shit though. All right, so I posted this one. It says, and I, I don't know if people are familiar with both, and I'm going to go around the room. Uh, the movie The Craft was just Juice, the movie Juice for Goth Girls. So if you've seen The Craft and you've seen Juice, this one's for you. And this is not to despair, despair between the two. It's to find the common common uh, interest of the two. All right, so uh, I'm going I'm to start with my man, RB. RB, you seen The Craft and you seen Juice? I have not. You have not seen Juice? Damn. No, I have not seen The Craft. <laughs> I know. I was fucking with you. Notice that shit, bro. I'm going to watch it tonight again. Wait, which one? It is a dope yeah. movie. I never noticed The Craft was like Juice. I know Juice word for word. I ain't got to watch it again. But I'm well, also you. Again. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to do this. Have anybody who has seen The Craft and who have seen Juice can, yes. can, can see the comparison between the two? And, and if so, go ahead and give me the your I only see a like. I only see a like comparison. That's the, basically is just uh, teenage girls, teenage boys. That's it. All right, let me, let me bring it a little bit further. Four teenage boys, four teenage girls. Okay. I just add a number on it. That's fine. Uh, and I'm going to leave it there because there's other people that's seen it that want to say something. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? They there's start off as meeting. friends and end up as not. That's yeah, why I disagree. started out as friends, ended off as not. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I disagree on that one. I okay. think it was Elaborate. a new girl. It was a new girl that came into the coven and they was just basically it was like a hazing where the uh, juice they they grew up as buddies they grew up as friends. Okay, well let me ask there was you no this. there was no new person that came into the five or the four. And, and now you know how movies work. Everything is uh, basically uh, they compare and contrast, right? For movies. So what about this this craziness here? 
what about the fact that when they got the gun, did Bishop not become somebody different, like a new person, really? Because they don't even recognize Bishop no more. Once he got the gun, he became the Bishop that he thought he was in his mind, but he really wasn't that guy. Would that not count, maybe? I'm just throwing uh, stones. Maybe, okay, maybe okay, okay, some. okay. I get where that does count because it got power hungry, just like she got power hungry when she got her powers. Mm, see, yeah, okay. Fuck about uh, steel. I don't give a fuck about Raheem. Fuck, I don't give a fuck about myself. Oh shit, nigga! Hey, we gonna do some spoken word, nigga? You gonna, you gonna uh, the re live reenactment of Tupac from Juice? Let's go. Why are you so angry? Come on, ride him ass. Let's do it. You know, hey, we can do hey, it. We can yo. make it. Hey, yo, Bishop. Man, Ooh, you would. I was gonna say you would go to the, you would go to the to the to the light skin, brother. Hey, hey, I said ride right, a man. Oh. He was Puerto Rican. Hey, you say you can hey, Okay, you okay, we're not we're not we're not trying to quote juice. We are trying to see the comparisons between the two. Still, uh, Jason, Jason G, I'm looking at you, brother. You look like you want to touch the button, but you look like you pulling back. What's up? What you got? No, I'm just thinking because I haven't seen either one in a long ass time. But uh, I will say, I like the gun comparison. But like, I felt I felt like all the girls were basically involved, and everybody had the power. Like, I think one of them was more powerful at some point, who was more or less the outcast. But like, it's not like Bishop shared the power of the gun. Like, once he got the gun, he had the power. That was more or less the difference. And so, like, uh, there, from what I remember of the craft, it was like. You had the outsider um, who was coming in, and then uh, basically once they all found that they had the power, it was like, "All right, cool." But you still the outsider, but she had like the biggest of the powers, I think, uh, as far as yeah, she was a natural witch. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, and they tried to basically kind of conspire. No, that's not the right I, word. But I that's think. Not word. Yeah, conspire to to. All right, so what about I just this? Think they what? went Mean Girls on her. They exactly. basically got jealous of the fact that she was a natural, and then they had to do all of that extra stuff by becoming a coven. Right. And she she damn near went beyond witchcraft into Satan worship to get the powers of Manuel or whatever the, the deity was oh, my man, to watch invoke her. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I, just thought, I thought them girls were kind of hot in that that movie. That's why they, I saw. they were even the little weird one that was on the faculty. I like their <laughs> but, but how about this though? So with that comparison, now you said you don't see it, but you you kind of can get it. But what what about the the gun is the the shifting point? We'll say that instead of the power dynamic, it's the shifting point. So when the gun, because who introduced the gun to the group? It was Raheem. Raheem. Raheem, yeah. the, the person who introduced you to this new power. Is the first one to get touched by it. Raheem, boom, he ain't even in the rest of the damn movie. He did now. So the <laughs> who introduced who introduced the new girl to the coven? Hmm. That that part so, I don't remember. So if we I'm I'm and, and this is my comparison. The, per, I'm I'm gonna say this without even actually visualizing if it was is if it's a fact or not. Let's say the person who introduced this new girl to the group was the first person to be dis dismissed by the group or not not really dismissed because they ended up together until they all quote unquote perished so uh you know it, it's 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 worth looking at uh and then you have to always go this is this movie is about black people so we're going to see a negative connotation in certain things where if it was about white people it wouldn't be seen as negative it'll be seen more as weird than negative so with the uh, witches these are legit witches which are bad people the historically uh and they're looked at as just some outcasts then there's some regular teenagers just trying to make it which they're black so they're looked at as bad guys so it, it you know it's a, the the diff the differences is in the in the similarities to me at some points with some of the stuff so i thought that was a pretty good thing it was very simple very basic but it can draw your ire if you talk to a group of people who've seen both movies and who can do like what we just did, just talk about the differences. So, yeah.
Okay, well, I, what I do agree with you on that they're both coming of age movies. I'll say that. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? They both were like high school age. They both was coming into their adulthood. Um, and they were doing things that were conducive to what teenagers do. One was in the inner city, one was in the suburbs. And they were they were doing, you know, like I said, I went back to the mean girl thing. That's what I saw when they saw that the other girl was more attractive than the other one. And then she knew how to change her hair and her looks and all of that. And uh, yeah, all the other girls got mad because the the power chose her. Now, when it, when it came to Bishop and them, he chose the power. So yeah, I mean it's just like that. Yeah. So even even with this situation is uh like like you was go you said the mean girl situation with the guys uh on juice, they they were doing they made decisions that were probably fulfilling for right now, but for they weren't thinking about the future. They would say the same thing for the the uh, the craft. They were making decisions based on what they wanted right now. They, you you don't even have an adult mind yet. You don't know what you want. You just going for the thrill of things as in right now. So I think that's what did you say that because neither one of them had a strong sense of parents in either move. There you go. That's another similarity. I like that. Uh we was at Steel Mama House, remember? Still seemed like Steel was the only one who respected the parentage. Oh, by telling them to don't be <laughs> clean up this mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still, still stood up to them boys when they was breaking stuff in his house because he knew he had to deal with mama. Yeah, he had to get a whoop. <laughs> right. You know, you said you got Raheem. Raheem, he's a teenager, but he already got a kid that he was, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, Raheem with down the there probably had his own flat somewhere. Facts. Uh, and then, you know, Q, all he thinking about is making music and I'm going to hang out with my boys, but I'd rather go make music. You know, he getting down with old girl. I can't remember her name right now, but, you know. Nah, it, it, he had I, a single it, hard working mom that probably didn't think he could do no wrong because mom cause didn't know nothing about him. Yeah. Right. Every single situation was something different. Like, still. She didn't know he was stealing them, them LPs. Them LPs, right. That little ugly gold tooth mouth girl in the store. And, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, sir. That shit was hilarious. But uh, nah, it's just the little, the little, little uh consistency with like that. that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, uh, uh, this is a serious moment. I'm gonna put this out there real quick. Like I said, I'm going up the list. Uh, I got Jason Michael posted. Uh, that his own. We talked about it last week. We talked. I don't know if we talked about it last week or if we just talked about it on Wednesday. But uh, his he they had some situations out there in Florida. And uh, a family member of his lost lost everything, and you know he, he set up he set up the the PA. Uh, what's your name? It was in PA that it happened. Oh, in PA in Pennsylvania. All right, so yeah. you know he's from he's a Philly guy. He's a go Eagles fly. Oh, hit me up uh, after the show because I, I got your stuff. I don't know if you want me to send it to you. You want me to print it out first to send it to you, or how you want to do it? But I got it ready. Um, they they lost everything, so he. Posted the link in the uh, in the group. So if you are one of the people who got more money than you know what to do with it, and you want something good to do with it, uh, go hit the GoFundMe, uh, help them out, send them a guitar, send them some food, send them some money, whatever you, whatever you feel is good. Um, uh, Jason G is Benita around. I, she said she wanted to explain these, and I really wanted her here to do it because I do not know. Uh, if you give her a shout and see if she if she's interested in uh, giving us the answers for the the ones we didn't get on the ones he posted, uh, uh, Rebus. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to the next subject while while you do that though. Um, okay. So last week, RB three thousand did a mix. It was awesome. I enjoyed it very much. So in turn, this week I did a mix. Uh, it was a funk mix. If you have not seen that shit, go enjoy it. I had so much fun doing it. I had the babies in there with me dancing. It's not often that I play music that I can just enjoy with my children. And uh, yeah, it was great. I had a good time. You could see my face while I'm doing it. I, I didn't just put it on 
uh, no video. I actually recorded it's myself. Time. It's time. It's time. I had a good time. It was a funk mix. I had a little bit of funk music. It had some music that you would consider R and B, but it's before its time of R and B, so it's still it's funk. Like imagine a simple meal. But I had a good time. Um. All right. Let me go over here and mute real quick. All right. All right. So then you got uh. It's the that's what we got. Same time. Okay. All right. Did we get to the, the, the finish line thing? Did we do that last week? The lady at the finish line. We did talk about that, right? RB? Mm -mm. We didn't? At the finish line? The, the, yeah, the, the lady. The lady, the lady running. Was, the lady running and her husband kids. with the kids at the finish line? We didn't yeah, talk yeah, about we that. Did. No. Yeah. Okay. About okay, we did. Because I was like, I feel like I had a lot to say about it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, but Nita posted this one. It says... Name some things, and it's for everybody. I'm gonna go around the room. Name some things people don't truly understand or appreciate until they experience it themselves. I'll go first an orgasm, but she said also childbirth, <laughs> which I, I've been there. Oh my god, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, I can say, uh, childbirth, I've been through four of them, and I wasn't the person doing the childbirthing, and I could see the. I've never been so much not myself than being in the childbirthing room. That is when you like. I'm gonna make sure that this person that's pushing has everything possible that they can have because holy shit, they are miserable. They hate everybody. The lady who they've been friends with for the last six hours that bring them Jello or whatever. They calling them all kinds of bitches and why the fuck you didn't have this ready for me? I, I gotta see. I, you should have told me to take the. I was like, holy shit, that's crazy. So I'm gonna go around the room. Uh, Jason Michael, what you got on that one? Uh, I'm on a tablet. So you gotta. Um, I, I I'm just, on my phone. I, I wanna. I wanna just relay a, a, a kindred spirit there. I felt more helpless in that moment um, when my kids were born than in any other time in my life. I can do nothing for her to stop her pain. I can't. I, I am powerless. With all that I know, everything in my life that I have learned to do, and there is nothing that I can do for her. And that it just made me feel like I hate that feeling. Hate it I feel like it was plenty. Well, condom. <laughs> you know oh. what? My point was that I experienced that, but I didn't experience childbirth. So I would imagine how horrible it is for her. You think it's worse for a C-section or just a push? Which way do you think worse? I mean, it depends on if you're a vain person. Some people would rather all the pain in the world than have a scar. So, I mean... I would imagine have you you've been cut before, right? Plenty of times, yes. So I mean, I would imagine at a C section, and get me wrong, of course, this may be one of those moments. If anybody has a C section, time in. Uh, I would imagine that's it feels like being cut. And at the same time, you're I feel like a bunch of pressure is relief from the baby being I, that's you know, that's just me being logical. I, I, yeah, I feel like I feel I've been stabbed before, and I feel like there's no there's no pain comparable to, to childbirth because those nerves are in a cluster and you can't, you have to, every single one of them gets touched. Man, I mean, I, it, to me, it's as simple as I've taken a shit that hurt more than being stabbed. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to have to push out a whole body. Like, holy yeah. shit, man. I can tell you, it does not feel anything like taking a shit. Oh, I, I bet, I bet. I'm, I, I'm just... I'm just comparing it to what I have experienced. I have never experienced having a baby, and I know that it's probably a, a hundred times worse. But I'm talking about that one shit that you never forget that you took, that you was like, oh, my God, it hurts so bad. But wow. that shit, yeah. All right, RB, what's yours? What's yours? What you think? What's something that, oh, you said getting ahead. Getting it, receiving it, oral sex. Getting your dick sucked. Getting your penis 
All fixed. Um, Argue with yeah. the year. I, I don't think a woman, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm speaking out of turn. I don't think a woman can truly understand why uh, men be like, man, I just want, just, I just want my dish. Because that shit is amazing. It feels so good. I mean, when you, and this is why you can be particular. Because if it's the wrong person doing it, the wrong woman doing it, then it's not the greatest thing ever. Yeah. But when you get that one, when you get that one that you're like, oh my. Yeah, that's real mm -hmm. life. Put that, okay, RB. Put that mouth on a pedestal. He said, All right, RB, thank you for that one, sir. Jason Michael, let me get to everybody. I'm, I'm going to come back to you, sir. I'm going to come back to you. Let me get to everybody else. All right. I didn't get Dr. to say mine. I just disagreed with you. Oh, I apologize. Go ahead. What you got? Uh, Flying a plane. Oh. That, well, okay. Give me, give me a breakdown on that. How? So, so people. I think flying a plane is hard, man. When you get in a, a two prop plane and you grab a hold of the stick and the autopilot gets shut off, you feel the entire weight of that plane. Your arms are, are tired. I mean, it's it's not. But when you control the plane and you're actually, you know, moving and going where and landing, that whole experience is like is is life changing, man. You get bit with the bug of flying, and that's all you want to do. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a good one. I I I I pl I, fl I fought planes in the video games, and I did the simulator before because I worked at Lockheed for a long time. I did the simulator. The simulator was awesome. I I understood that I wasn't in a plane, wasn't in danger, it was no, you know, if I crashed, oh well, I'm just in the game. So I can understand that it doesn't hit the same when you're actually. In a plane, so I get that. Yeah, that's what's my, up. my best friend owns a plane, and he, he taught me to fly. So, right. it's right. cool. Hey, that's what's that, up. That's just like getting some getting some good head. That's how you think about it. Getting your hey, head. Head. <laughs> I can't. I can't with him, Doctor Renee. I, I I hate that that's the segue that we go to you, Doc. But uh, what uh, what's yours? Oh Lord. Now, hold on. Before you answer, don't act like you didn't know you was about to be next because I got the shit set no, up. Well, y'all no. got the same screen I got. You should have been thinking about yours the whole time. No, I was thinking about it, and RB just threw me off track. Don't don't blame don't blame you. So I'm gonna, I, I'm going to give you two. The first one is be, I, I'm taking the woman's side being eaten out. Oh. Mr. Oh. Renee, you don't have sex. <laughs> and the not. second one just buying a house. <laughs> <laughs> Be eating out and buying a house. Yeah. Yes. Miss yes. Renee told us for years she don't have sex. I call him. <laughs> well, having sex and getting eaten out ain't the same thing. And, and, I'm say, and I'm only saying this because he's not in here to defend himself. If you let Steve tell it, he would have flew all the way to you just to eat you out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But, all right, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. He never said that. That was that was a inside I just joke had to that I speak out. for the women. I had to speak for the women to take up for the women. After what okay. I said, but, but on your your second one, you said uh, buying a house. Buying a house. You, okay, you give me give me that experience. You can never experience what it is as far as being a homeowner when you buy a house. You are you have to take care of everything. Whereas if you rent, you can call your landlord. Mm. See, I thought you was talking about a magical experience. Like it seems like an awesome thing, but then you, how you explain it sounds horrible. It is. It's horrible. It, it, yeah, I, I own the sell. house Don't buy right now. But, <laughs> right, but I it, own the house right now. I'm renting, but when I owned my house, if your if your oil runs out. The, you ain't got no money. You're gonna be freezing if you, if you know, you got to take care of everything when you own a house. As at, when you're renting, you really have no worries because you get on the phone, you call your landlord. This happened. The landlord's gonna come and take care of it. And there is where you, can, they, you the can take away from the money. I mean, it worked. Wait, well, wait. Waiting on somebody to come versus. 
having to oh, take care of things, I think that's right. A, I think it's that's a, a big, big difference. difference. Yes, it is. Because if you don't have the money to take care of it, then you're shit out of luck until you come into some money. And somebody, and then your renters can come at you for the rent money. Like, look, I why am I paying rent if I ain't right. got this? Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know how that feels. Apartment, I have man. never owned a house. I've been in apartments before, and I, I understand what Kevin's talking about. It's tedious. It sucks when shit don't get fixed, but you ain't got to fix it. So right. I, I can understand both. I, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That's how I cook. KO, what's yours, sir? Me. You, you never understand KO until you are KO. Till you experience me. Till, it's it's like a circle. Once you break the barrier and get inside, like Chris sent me. Oh no, she sent, Chris, you want to get inside of KO? She told she sent me a picture the other day of somebody sitting ducked off with some shades by themselves and said, "This is how I bet you." Mm. <laughs> and, and it's. It's one of those things, like, I mean, you never know until you, like, get past that one point of me. Okay. I, I was, was going to call Kay, on your Kay and, at first. Kay and Kelly was calling me Hollywood at one point because it took me, like, seven years to talk to them. Or to take off your sunglasses. Yeah. At their presence, period. Like, And you've yeah. been to their houses before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, I was going to call bullshit on your answer at first until you explained it. So let, let, let that be a lesson to myself to shut up and let people talk. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Sierra, where you at with it? Uh, oh, damn. Here go my Sierra. As soon as I start talking shit, then she going to unmute. So let me talk shit. I don't know if y'all can see Sierra. No, wait, I'm here. Oh, there she go. Dang! Well, since everybody said all the nasty stuff, I'm gonna say a genuine friendship. Nice. Oh, oh wow! How you know? How you know? You know what they feel like? No, That's what I'm asking. How she know? Wow! No, I give genuine friendship. To who? Oh, you give. You give genuine me. friendship. To who? Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let her talk. We we didn't interrupt nobody else. Go ahead. So you give genuine friendship. Go ahead and explain. What do you mean explain? What is there to explain? That's it. Like wow. I'm loyal. I'm I'm like a great like KL said. I have the sunglasses sitting in the corner under a tree. Under because a tree. I'm a real boy. No, what I'm saying is that like it's hard to find genuine people these days. So everybody is selfish and out for themselves. So if you find someone that's, you know, really for you, that's what's up. But you still be their friend. So I don't <laughs> know how this correlates with what you're saying. And you curse me out and not them. That's mm. crazy work. Sometimes people need extra loving. And that's not sexual. <clears throat> that's so not I'm saying sexual. Like, so are, you hey, a, and, are, hey, are you accusing anybody just, of being sexual towards you? God is No. No, I'm just saying because normally I'm sexual. But what I'm saying is that friendship, real friendship. And on top of that, I'm losing most of my friends anyway. So I'm just saying moving forward, you know, yeah, genuine friendship. I remember this is the crazy thing about it. I, I, I'm not going to dispel what you said because that's your that's your opinion, uh, your truth on it. That, But I remember extending, and this was three, maybe <laughs> a month ago, extending my undying friendship to you mm -hmm. if you did one thing which so maybe this does attest to what you're saying all i wanted you to do was cut one cancer out of your life Damn. and let me let me patch that cancer with love with a loving friendship and you declined my offer no i are... did not decline it's no. taking a long time to do it because you know mm. cancer slowly eats you up so you have to Combat it with, with stuff. But I, I'm seeing what, the light, right? If, I'm seeing if the cancer, light. If cancer slow, low, slowly eats you up and somebody gives you a a drug that can dispel cancer altogether, I'm taking that mug immediately. I'm getting rid of yeah, it. Yeah, but so then I'm I do saying. that and then my car is crashed. Then what happens? So look, I'm gonna tell you what the, I'm gonna tell you how the police work. Um <laughs> <laughs> let me just tell you how the police work. Excuse me, sir. 
I am this person. This, this is in my name. I want this. This person is not giving it to me. I need you to go ahead and get it. They can't crash shit. But that's putting out your business. I ain't trying to do that. We are stirring the pot. SB Love will say, hold on, I want to know more. We stirring the pot, right? But I'm not, that's not what we asked. I mean, but you do sound like my therapist today. So I get it. I'm oh, sure. shit. Did you did you not go to therapy today or did you do? And I sound no, like No, I did, therapist. but she said the exact same thing. Wow. So, Man, yeah, I that's get crazy. Work. License. Awesome. I know, right? Okay. Uh, but yeah. Well, look, and I do it for free because I enjoy talking to people. So I'm, I've been giving her therapy for months and she don't listen to me. <laughs> We're not talking no, about Rob sex, bro. Oh, fuck. wait a minute. Y'all never had sex. My bad. Okay. Wow, just... that's crazy. Is that crazy no, work? Because you don't say that I seven to, times I went, to, okay. I went to his house in like a full setup and he turned me away. So that was awkward. Did you have this but that, picture but that, on standby? But that's another time. But that's another time. That's crazy. Hey, Sierra, but did you have this picture on standby where you had the front and the back showing? No. I mean, he just he just turned me away. He was like, it's not, it's not for me. And I was like, that's crazy. Was real crazy work with unanimously people give you the same advice and tell you the same <laughs> shit and you do what the fuck Sierra still wants to do. What's crazy work is when you don't think about the shit around Sierra as opposed to the shit hey, that's gonna hey, be attacked. Hey, hey, what's crazy work is Sierra telling that bullshit ass lie? I don't want these people no more. Take oh, them wow. off, man. Just take them off. Just take them off. I love it. Nah, all right, but Sierra, yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't believe that, and this is it's a it's a puzzling thing. Genuine friendship is a puzzling thing. I have that with with RB and KO, and it's puzzling because they are the only people that I you, you see this. Everybody sees this side of me, but they're the only people that sees the. Hey, everything you're doing is fucking stupid. And I think if you want to do better in life, you should just cut all that shit out and start over. They nobody gets that from me besides that. And the reaction from them when I and I can't say them, the reaction from one of them when I've said something like that, and I didn't I never said anything exactly like that before, because that's 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 crazy work. But um the reaction that I got from them is you don't tell that to so and so and so and so because I said, fuck so-and-so and so-and-so. I don't really care how they feel. I, I want to make sure that you're your best you. Not for me, not for that person, but for you. I want to make sure if, if I sound harsh, I don't sound harsh to a lot of people because it, it, ultimately what they do in their life has no, you know, whatever to me. But yours, I care about. I want to make sure I can say it is the harshest way possible that you understand it. Like, damn, that's my best friend telling me this shit like this. So, he must really mean it. That's how I feel about it. So I do understand genuine friendship is very, very hard to understand unless you actually have it. And fortunately, and I guess unfortunately, for certain people, they have experienced it. And yeah, it, I, it's weird though because more people would rather the watered down bullshit, everybody be my friend thing than a genuine heart to heart conversation on a regular. I've never, I've never called either one of these people out in front of a group of people while we were sitting there having a conversation or nothing. And they'd never done the same thing to me, but behind closed doors. Oh shit. You could be a little fly on the wall. You hear all kinds of mama, mama name. We had, a, we had to have a conversation about mama call. We don't talk about mamas no more because it got to a point like, it, yeah. So I think that, Sierra, what you said is correct. I think genuine friendship is something that if you don't have it, you don't really know. And I think once you get it, you can see so much shit from the past that you dealt with that was really not friendship. It was some fucked up shit. People trying to come up off of you or whatever. So thank you, Sierra. Thank you. Man. Hey, in, addition, in addition to that, it's hard to attract that type of thing when you have things around you that's not attractive to that. So you're never going to go look at a house, see roaches in it, and be like, yeah, I don't want to, I want to live here. Oh, damn. Now that ain't crazy that was work. Solid. Okay, yo. That's solid. Yeah, yeah, for real. That is solid. I, okay. R RB, you had a disagreeance, I think. What was it? Sierra told that bullshit ass lie. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I didn't know Robert was here. I thought it was Lil John. My bad. My bad. 
I wow. was fucking the body. Y'all gonna have to do that behind closed doors. Let me get B Love. B Love. No, the disrespect was public. But but no, she told a story. She didn't really disrespect you. I don't it's think it's a lie. It's a lie. Right? I didn't disrespect. I never disrespect. Continue. So you think her lying is disrespect to you? Yes, it is. Hey, Sierra, he thinks lying is disrespectful to him. Did you lie to him or lie about him? I mean, I I said a story, but my bad little job. I really didn't mean no disrespect. All right, see, that's better than. All right, I, I I accept that, but he's not little Johnny. You know that you're being funny. She she been with mother hen too long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I still got people. Let's see. All right, DJ B Love. If are you there? I know you be conking out sometimes on me. Uh, are you there? Do that numbers. All right, Jason G. What you got? What what do you think is one of those things? Um, I mean, I posted a couple of things just because that's the first thing that popped up in my head. Um, one of them being just, you know, being in a genuine loving relationship. Um, mm. Like when you find somebody that just kind of gets you, um, like that shit is really rare. So like, I don't know how else to explain it other than to say, like, when you know, you know. Um, on the flip side of that, um, I also was thinking about the fact that, you know, like if you lose that or if you have a heartbreak where it's just like I ain't never experienced some shit like that where like because obviously I was once married and also divorced and so it's just like to have to deal with the reality of what you thought was going to be forever happily ever after and it's not going to happen that shit was like devastating so it's just like you got the positive side of love and experiencing that but then the negative is the possibility of loss and in my case it's mm. reality um Damn. the other thing that i wanted to mention that i did put on the the post was um one of my favorite things that i do um but again you have to kind of be there and that's like well i mean i don't know if it's that rare but it's kind of rare here in la where it's just like so it kind of it's like a tangent to the friendship thing i was talking about what it's like to be in a loving safe black space like a lot of times that can just be family but um like i know a lot of folks out here in la are like transplants and shit so they don't necessarily have family out here but to find like-minded people and to be in a space uh like there's a event that my friend um used to throw uh, he'll probably get back to it when he gets the chance but like it was called family dinner and it was based on the fact that like uh, a friend of his just let him crash on the couch and so he would cook for him and shit and that mm little thing just turned into something that was just like this party that like black people come to and just don't talk about you know your problems just come together eat fellowship and it was just like that's all it was you know just a fucking party but like it was black love so i guess it's uh to be able to experience black love on a larger scale not just your family that yeah. was amazing I've, I've never experienced shit like that and so i was an avid supporter simply because the first time i experienced it was like this is cool as hell. Ain't no problems. Nobody arguing. Nobody talking dumb shit. It's just like black people getting together and just having a good time. See, that shit was amazing. That, I, I agree a hundred percent with that one because I hate to I hate to support it now because he ain't on here right now. He just got off. But mm -hmm. B Love used to do this thing called Friendsgiving, where mm -hmm. a, a member of the uh, uh, of the Bombay Lounge would be like, hey. I'll, I'll host it at my house if everybody going to come through this and that. As long as up ahead of time, we know what everybody going to bring and this and that, then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have it. And I loved it. I loved it. It was awesome. We'll do that. We'll have karaoke. You know how we do. Karaoke in the living room. Uh, sometimes we'll record it and, and, you know, put it out there for everybody to see. But I think for the most part, it was just the intimate situation, the scenario that we all are a group of friends that don't really get to see each other in real life often. Uh, kind of like my birthday, kind of like I did my birthday. Like, hey, y'all, I'm I'm opening it up. Like, I don't give a shit if you don't get no room. You come stay at my house. You get your room. You want to get your room if you want privacy because I got kids. They're going to be all up in your shit. But, hey, for my birthday, I want everybody to come out here and we can just enjoy each other. And that that's how Friendsgiving was. It was a, a specific holiday, so it made sense. It was, uh, it was uh, you know, at 
random people whoever wanted to host it it was at they house and i thought it was that was awesome so yeah that is uh like your friend was doing uh mm-hmm. just randomly cook out the family cook out a sunday's dinner i think that's pretty awesome uh that's a, that's an awesome idea that's great okay uh welcome bonita welcome bonita how you doing that well all right okay <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jason Michael. Jason Michael, what you got, man? I'm good. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Hi. We on the same thing? Yes, sir. We on the same thing. Going around the room. I apologize, everybody. Every time somebody say something, I'm coming behind them, co-signing and whatnot. But this was not supposed to be this long. That's on me. Thought he said the the experience I did the flying. Was this the experience thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the shit is out of order. I put shit in order, then it goes away. Oh, you raised your hand. That's why you was out of order. That's why you went to the top. Okay, you don't wait your turn. <laughs> and Dr. Renee either, because she oh, she switched things. She switched the devices, so she had the bottom. All right, Benita, just join in, on right into the fire. Uh, What what you got? What, what's one thing that... uh? Oh, shit. All right, hit the button, and it's gone. Name something that... uh. People don't really understand. And you posted it, so yeah, you know. And and don't do childbirth because we already covered that one extensively. And orgasm because that was on the page. Uh uh-uh, uh damn. I, I, okay, <laughs> y'all covered my shit. I ain't here. <laughs> oh, I forgot. What was it? Something people don't really understand or appreciate unless they experience unless, it, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. Hmm. Okay. And this is your post. Hey, I tell you, y'all know this. Well, you already like y'all it. said two. I already had two, but I can't say them right. now. <laughs> oh, orgasm uh, wasn't yours. That was the person who posted, and and you said childbirth. Oh, um, yeah. We covered that extensively. That shit sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so you say, but do you really know? Exactly. That, that's where we went. With it. That's where we went with it because I have no idea. I, I've been in the room, but I've never done it. So. Um, let's let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess I would say. Uh, being poor or going to jail. Oh. I feel like you know, people don't really know unless <laughs> they go through it. I guess that would I, probably be the same as being rich, though. Really. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, money, being without it or being with it. Do you really or having the excess? That? Yeah, having it in excess or not having much of it. I feel like uh, I don't know. I think poor people don't really know they poor and because they just have what they need as they can get it. Um, but it wasn't until like I increased my income that I was like, damn, I was really not doing it as well as I thought I was. So I think you know maybe. Um, wealth or poverty, you know, um, unless you really experience it, you can't appreciate it. I think. I agree. I agree with that. What uh, else? That? Oh, I said jail. Yeah, going to jail. So j- going to jail. I, uh, <laughs> how many people in here? I think it'd be easier to say who haven't. Who has never been to jail in here before? Okay. Oh, Kim. Okay, so this Doing one is. There I'm not answering that without my nah, lawyer. Nah, nah, working there don't count. You sure? <laughs> Actually, I think you do. Like, cause I almost I mean, you went in, to work you at a prison. Like, I almost went to work at a prison, and I'm my cousin worked there, and she was like, "You don't need to do it." No. <laughs> I'm gonna like, say <laughs> yes. I'm gonna say yes. I, I think working there do count because. You are behind you behind bars. You're not behind those bars, but you are behind bars, and you're yeah. in there with they ass for the same uh, a lot a lot of your day because they ain't got yeah. no eight hour shifts, right? They got the twelves now. They, yep. Uh, yeah, I, oh yeah. Oh damn, day, really? And you I'm like, half of your day, shit, yeah, I think that shit sucks. Um, uh, now me personally, you, you said it right. You're not in prison, but you in prison. Yeah, <laughs> you behind bars. I, I think, with you me eat, personally, you eat, what they eat. you eat what they eat. You got a commissary. Yeah, fuck that. They hey. can keep that shit. Hey, uh, I, I've only I spent money the night. on my books. <laughs> I need money. I've only spent the night in jail. I've only spent, uh, for the most part, maybe eight hours in jail. 
and that would be uh less than a full day for a CEO. So I, I don't know the full experience, but <laughs> this is this is how you know it's a lack of experience. But at eight hours, I was fine with it. I, I was, you know, I slept. Oh. <laughs> I, I was drunk. Of course, I was drunk. That oh. oh, that don't count. That don't count. You're in the drunk tank. I was. Fi- I was fine. I woke uh. up. What? What? Ko. Hello. I think, you mis- I think you miscalculate. Was it more? Yes. Oh, y'all couldn't find me for a full twenty or uh, twenty-four. No. What? Was it that? You thinking about that? What about when you touched the cop downtown? I had to bail you out both times. But that was only two out, two or three hours though. You went in for police brutality? What? <laughs> Man, no. That that bulk his ass bitch. No, it was not no police. <laughs> that that put him in a car with shit. some chick that shot somebody. Yeah. No, she, she, she shoot. Yes, yeah, she did too. She and she completing to me like I could help her case. Like I didn't mean to. I'm like, I'm here with you. What the fuck? But no, the cop, my buddy, had to work in the morning. We worked the same job. He worked the morning. I worked the afternoon. He was getting on some bogus ass charge of drunk, uh, assaulting somebody because uh, in, in Beaumont, Texas, a white boy on the dance floor fell and busted his face. Then everybody saw it. He he was dancing. He slipped, fell, busted his face. And when they got him out for being too drunk, he said that guy over there hit me. And the guy was my buddy who worked the morning shift. And that dude was like, "No, what are you talking about? No." And everybody that was with us, because we don't never go downtown Beaumont clubbing unless we got a crew with us, because that kind of shit happens. Big ass crew, <laughs> and. Every single person that we was with, like, all right, let's go. We get downstairs where the police is trying. They cuffing him now, telling him he assaulted somebody. We was like, bro, he didn't touch that dude. If you got, if they got cameras up there, y'all should go look at it and shit before y'all start booking people. And that dude told me, shut the fuck up. Do you want to go to jail? I said, sir, nobody wants to go to jail. I don't think that that's a thing that <laughs> they do. The whole night. And then the dude was like, you know what? Who was word. pissing him off? A, uh, Matt was pissing him off, or who? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I and he was like, "Your mouth fly you like another, mine." He said, "If you say another word, I'll take the cuffs off him and put them on you." And I said, "So typical." Another word. And then that nigga, <laughs> nah, I didn't. I didn't even be that. I wasn't even on the nose like that. I was like, "That's so typical, of you guys. If you take one out, you got to get another one." And he was like, "You know what?" He uncuffed him and he cuffed me. And no. You had put your head on, and he said, "I did oh, not. I did not. That you, you going too far. You going too far. I'm not. You just touched I his never shoulder put my like hand a friend the way you was talking to him." And he said, You're "Oh, going I put to my hand on his shoulder when I said it. Yes, I put my hand yeah. on his shoulder. Like, bro, nobody wants to go. Like, yeah. You know, Sly Fox. I never saw you as a bully, but then you. No, I'm a thug, a fam. I, I'm like the thug. <laughs> you gonna see? But yeah, <laughs> jail sucks. He didn't stop there." He drove us all there in his big ass Durango. So when they put him in the car, they had cuffed him behind his back. When they took him out to get the keys out of his pocket, this fool had his hands in the front. He stepped through his hands like a jump rope. You an escape artist too? And put his hands in the front, and they was mad at him. Okay. They had, they had to re- okay. his ass. Oh, oh, it ain't about that. We just talking about jail right now. Jail is not fun. But I said, with my little time that I spent, because I did not spend much time, I fell asleep. I woke up. They gave me a sandwich. And I ate it. I think I went back to sleep. And then my niggas bailed me out. So I was fine. Uh, People who actually have to experience, because I was in, I think I was in something called holding, not actual jail. When they yeah. Jobs and stuff. I it don't sound know. like holding or the junk so, tank, yeah. I was fine. I never actually experienced jail. So whatever they do in jail, that shit is beyond me. So I can, I can say. Like a week. Yeah. You did for like a week. So did you get a job? They put you in a white jumpsuit? Because I still wore my clothes the whole time. Nah, I wore my clothes the whole time too, but they brought you upstairs though. Like when they bring you upstairs, that's that's jail. Hold that's it. <laughs> oh, I ain't never go upstairs, whatever that shit is. They let they offer me to take a shower and I say, bro, it's cold. I'm good. I 
Yeah, I'm. I'm they my, that old ass right. peanut butter sandwich too. I uh, ate that. No, I ate that. I was there because I went out to get breakfast and came back to Roseanne's house and they pulled up right behind me looking for me because that's where my ID still was at the time uh, doing some kind of roundup for like tickets and Boys. shit. And oh. you know what mine was? White settlement. Oh, you got to love it. Oh, that's what oh white settlement. Oh, that's shit. Yeah, yeah. Work that time. I had to go sit that book. Oh, I, I I had to sit it out longer, but Roseanne paid it and got me out. Okay, but all right. Well, like, just to get to the next subject because it's uh ten sixteen already. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Benita. By the way, that je the jail is something serious. I don't think people understand that because I went to scare straight and I ain't never had that urge to go to jail since then. So, uh, I think for me, my my answer would be uh Can not you? just being. Not just being in the military, but actually going to war. Oh, it, it's, agree, it's one of them things that when you come back, people just feel just so entitled into knowing every fucking thing that you did while you were there. Like, don't tell me that. Don't tell me like, shut the fuck up. All right, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's not something that a, a person wants to relive on the regular. So, wow. as far as me and my life things that I don't have a problem talking about. And, and you can ask my dudes, like, I don't, I don't have a problem talking to them about it, but it's not something that if we, if me and me and Kevin going out and we going to a bar and it's some hot chicks and he want to talk to them, it's not something he'd be like, Hey, tell them about when you went to war. It's, it, that's that's <laughs> an off limits thing. You know, yeah. I don't just randomly do. So uh, going to war is a, is a totally different monster than just being in the military. Uh, I'll tell you about being in the military all the time. What you do? You do exercises in the morning. You go do your job. When you get off, you go have sex with people. Then you go to the club, <laughs> have sex with people, go to sleep, people. Go, to, go work out in the morning. <laughs> and, and I mean, it's, that's basically <laughs> being in the military. So, uh, yeah. All right. So this next one, this next one I was looking at. It's uh, say. <laughs> I mean, it, it, what well, it was like people. If you plural. Were room, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get over. Okay, it wasn't so, just the same one. It was a different one. Each you time. don't have you don't have your own room. Like if you're in the barracks, you share in a barracks with somebody. Hoes, you can attest to that. When you came to my barracks, I only the only reason why I had a bear my own barracks to myself, you seen it was two sides, but I had and my shit on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Because this dude had got promoted to a sergeant and he wasn't a specialist no more. So you have to share your barracks. And yeah, that's pretty much what it was. You smash them mm. and you pass them. It, it, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, all right. So <laughs> it's 10 19, almost 10 20. This lady posted this, and I wanted to talk about this last week, but we didn't get to it. So this lady posted this. She said, I dated a guy in 2021 who was kind, had a good heart, but he was always broke. Unsure of how to end things, I faked my own unaliving, which that's not right. Yeah, that's it. By texting him what? as my cousin and telling him only family could attend my funeral due to regulations. After blocking him, I monitored his post from a fake account and saw that he was devastated. Luckily, oh we had no mutual friends, so my active profile remained hidden. Now that he's doing well and has a great job, I want to reconnect, but don't know how since he thinks I'm dead. Help me because I love this man. This is her words. I didn't embellish nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm calling the police. That's what hey, I'm doing. I'm calling the question. police. I said, help her, guys. What should what what should she do? So I'm going around the room, and it's probably going to be the last one tonight because I know it's going to be some shit being said. It's great. My name is Earl. <laughs> I love it. Hell yeah. All right. My co hosts always go last, but it seems like he gets skipped sometimes. RB, what do we do to this lady, man? What, how do we help her? I will not help her. Wow. Why not? She asked for your help. Nah, I can't. I can't approve with that. I can't approve. He's just gonna leave it there. <laughs> All right. All right, KO, how do you help this lady? Um, quick question. Is that lady named Shamik? Oh, okay, well, anywho, 
with no, this it, dude. It was faking that she wow. was dead, not stealing people's address. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I say if you're going to be that dirty of a nigga, the only thing you can do is uh, die for real. Wow. No help from you. You owe that to society. You owe that to society. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> JG. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Are we three times a second? Is I'm gonna say something real quick because <laughs> I still believe in humanity. Sierra, what you got? Come on, Sierra. I've been training you. <laughs> Come on. Well, what what do I have? I think she's how do you help it. this lady? How do you help this lady? How do I get help this, this lady? Guy? How do you help her get back with this man that she loves? One, you don't help her because if she yeah. loved him, she wouldn't have done that shit in the first place. But she didn't know she loved him until he started getting money. Well, she didn't love him. If you love somebody based on how much money they have, then you don't love them. Okay. We learned that in Tyler Perry movies. All of them. Every single one of them. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Jason G. Well, yeah, you, yeah your reactions was everything. So what you got? Uh, man, listen. Uh, my initial reaction was just like she got to take the L. But uh, if I'm actually going to give her some advice, then I got maybe a couple of ideas that are just ridiculous. Uh -oh. But hey, it is what it is. What uh, you got? Let's go. Number one, uh, she got to get together with her friends and basically make it seem like you know this is a miracle. Uh, get somebody to play Jesus so that you know she's been resurrected, just like Lazarus, bro. Like, and she's back, and now. For whatever the reason, she's she's back on the planet. So it is That's what it my is. Cold name, Completely Lazarus. motherfucking miracle. And I didn't want to miss out on this opportunity. God put me back on this earth just so for I can with you. For you. <laughs> Damn. Or okay. option hey, number two, she ahead. could uh kill Bill that shit. Where it's just like she like and this is why I agree with KO. Like you gotta get your ass buried. And come out that coffin and do that dirt just like your girl did in the motherfucking movie. So it's like, it's real. Like, they buried you, oh. but you wasn't dead. And now you back. And the thing that brought me back to this earth, or at least the reason why I didn't fucking die, is because I wanted to be with you. See, what I said wasn't so crazy. <laughs> Y'all both crazy. Y'all both crazy. I love it though. That's that's called stirring the pot, right though. Saying some shit that's out of outside of the box. I love it. Jason Michael, what you got? What what do you do? How do you help this lady, man? Get back with the love of her life, man. Um, I think the first thing I do is I take the VR goggles off her. Let her, let her see that the world around her is still real, and that she's been caught up in this uh, virtual world because that's some. Otherworldly shit right there. He say, he say it's in the matrix. He got to pull the plug out the back of her neck. She don't know what's <laughs> going on. That's it, man. Hey, I fucks with it. All right, what about Kim? How does Kim? How does Kim help that lady out? I would help that lady out. She don't deserve my help. Oh. <laughs> All right, Doctor Renee, what about you? Would you help this lady out? How would you do it? She needs to take accountability for what she did. Okay, like, with that being like said, she ain't getting no help from me. But with that being well, said, if she's taking accountability for what she's doing, if what if she's enlisting she, you into doing that? How does how do you help her do that? I can help her. She has to help herself. Mm -hmm. It all starts with her. You're gonna you're gonna tell her to the best way to help her is to. Tell her to help herself. That's that's the first step. I'd you got to help yourself mama. first before you can help anybody else. So I can't help her. All she right. has to help All herself right. first. That's the first step to recovery. <laughs> I thought the you first step was acceptance. I think she just needs to talk yeah. to Damn, Damn. All right. What about Benita? What you got, Benita? How can you help this lady find, get back with the love of her life? Yeah, man, I don't know. Um, I can give her a couple options. Okay, so um, she can create a, a fake profile and, you know, on whatever dating site he is, pretend to be somebody else, and then when they meet, 
Bam, I'm alive. Or she could do a seance. But that's all I got. Have somebody get a little Ouija board and, you know, come back you to life or whatever. You know I was about to say explain that seance. You know I was about <laughs> to say explain that. No, like y- y'all seen Ghost, Anime Brown, right? I'm saying. Yo. I'm saying, go get you a, <laughs> yeah, go get you a, go get you a, a Whoopi Goldberg or something, you know. If no, anything, no, he'll, he'll be he'll be so startled by seeing a ghost, maybe he'll overlook the fact that you actually are really alive and you lied to him. I, I don't, I don't know, you know. Man, but see, that's all I, I got. <laughs> if I wanted to see her succeed, I would simply say, go check in the hospital. And check out so you can have paperwork behind it and say your cousin did that to you, not you. So she, cause she wanted to smash. Oh, oh so keep Tell the lie me. going. Keep Tell the lie. Keep the lie on, alive. You on board with where I was going with it? Now, <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is, hey, in my opinion, this is what you do. Now I think she's kind of a shyster, so I, I, I can give you those shysty. Way to help. Well, her. that's the thing. This is your best friend. You, you want her to succeed. You want her to love. Wait, her when love. she when she become my best friend? When that happened? Who gonna help this, this lady? Who, who else it. would help this lady? Who this else would help this lady? She knows. She knows things that nobody else but them two know. So she gets a friend yeah. saying, mm. "I came back. I came back, and I'm inhabiting my friend's body right now." And. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the only way that I can she come really kind of wrong for dumping somebody during the pandemic anyway. Right. The only way I can come back is if you take some of that new money you got and put it in this account. And when you put it in that account, I'm going to be able to pay for the uh, <laughs> the spiritual leader to come and separate me from my, my friend's body and bring me back to life. But the right. only way that's going to happen is if we pay for it. Bro. You like are to- keeping up the hoax, but you it, it, it's like that is the most genuine situation. My situation was way less genuine. Than that. That's so genuine because she only want him because of his money there. Now you just tapping into just taking his money. Now you don't want him no more. Holy, that's a good one. That's a good hey, one. What you got, RB? What you were saying? I just want to say I love y'all, but for future <laughs> reference, if I ask for proof for everything y'all tell me from now on, <laughs> <laughs> Understand why, right? Yeah. Uh, you really gonna need proof after this, all right? So oh, that up. bring me to some. Well, I guess I'll post it in the group. Um, on the on the on the it, camera. On the group. Uh, is on it? The, so yeah, white lies are white are white are white lies okay Ooh. or no? White lies. With, with somebody you love. Yeah, you right. I'll Don't post it. I'll post it. Yeah. 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 White right. lives are actually bad because they would change the damn country. I mean, don't tell that's me that's why they I'm, call them white lies. Don't tell me I'm good <laughs> at basketball, then I go to the park and I be sucking it up. That won't yeah, say it like we might be lie. okay with white was telling white stop lies, it, but stop what, people, stop what, what if we are lied to? Okay, I'm a, I'll post it. I'll post y'all, it. And y'all, y'all indulge me. Y'all, yeah, but no, <laughs> check this out. That this, this is mine. This is mine. The one I came with, RB, I already told you how I felt about it. I, if this was my friend, all right, I'm I'm the same type of person as her. I'm, I don't want you to be with this bum. I know he's good, because usually that's where it comes from, a situation like this. He's good to you and everything, you're happy, but he ain't got no money. Usually it's the friend who comes up with an idea like this. So let's say the friend, all right, so I'm the friend that helped you come up with this idea in the first place. Now you want to get back on it. So I, I'm tasked with telling you how to get back with him. I say, all right, so what, what's going to happen here is, say your phone got hacked. That was not your cousin. That was somebody randomly trying to be your cousin. And they hacked my system. When they hacked my phone, they hacked my system. They hacked everything. So they had all my stuff. And everything that was happening, blah, 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 whatever. I don't know who the people was. You never, you never seen me in a funeral home. Why would you? And you flip it on him. You gave up that easy. You you didn't even try to come to my funeral. You didn't, like, you have to lay it on real thick. But then when he's starting to do that step back and apologizing stuff, you go, but, but look, I, none of that matters now. Only thing that matters is that we found each other again. You in there. You got it back. You there. 
Yeah, I'm flipping it back. Well, bitch, we dating. So you know my number by heart, bitch. You could have called me from any other phone. <laughs> I hate y'all. I'm a, let me good one, Kale. Art. That was a good one, Kale. <laughs> nah, bullshit. That's not a, I've been married to my wife for seven years, eight years now, and I don't know her phone number. And she ain't changed that shit since before we started dating. But the difference is, you're a man. She's a woman. Your wife knows your number. Ask her. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask her. Bob Fox, what's your military ID number? Ooh, you tried. 513. Ooh, shit. 513, it got, a, it got a three or seven and a five in there somewhere. I know it's, the, it's a six-digit number. 513 is the first three. The last three is a, a one, a five, and a, and a seven. I don't know which order though. Or three? Nope. Damn. Okay. Nope. Uh, what's your date of birth and your mom's name? He might not remember his wife's phone number. <laughs> I, I was going to I remember that, but I don't remember that. Yeah, nah. If you only remember, and this is this is horrible to say, but if you really think about it, it's not that horrible to say. I only try to remember numbers that's important. Your phone number in, in, in today, 2024, is not that important because every time I need it, I can go to my phone, hit the button, and do it. Oh, what if my phone is dead? That's that time where I was like, damn, I wish I knew it. Because my phone ain't never did, ain't never dead. I don't just let my phone die. My shit get to, like, look, I, I just went upstairs to get this because my shit said it was on 15%. So, yeah, I wasn't going to die. Sorry. Um, I don't know, man. I just never thought that was that important. I remember when I went to jail, I did not want my mom to know my number. I mean, not, I didn't want my mom to know. I probably could have got out earlier if I knew Kevin's number by heart, but I didn't. And that's not on my, that's not on me. That's because Kevin liked to change his damn number every other day. That, back then, back then. But <laughs> but my mom, she hadn't changed her number forever. Now, I don't know her number. Before, it was 409 to, uh, shit, now I can't remember now. Uh, 873, ooh, yeah, can't remember it now because she changed it and I know she changed it. So it's going out of my memory bank. That's one of them things that once I forget, I don't care no more. It's not it's not your number no more. I can remember my number when I was a child and growing up, when I had to tell my elementary teachers to call when they had to call my grandma because I did something in class, it was 887. No, 870 was the area code. 887-6126. That's it. And if I you need to call my grandma, by the way, I'm at three years with the same number. I, I said back then. I did say back then. Y'all heard I know, me say I'm back just then. saying I hit a milestone. That's mm. all. Okay. All right. I just think that, hey, it's, it, this is this is what I'm trying to push. And, and, and me and RB, like I said, me and RB uh, talked about it. This is the kind of stuff that we try to push. Like, we know, for the most part, everybody's a good person. They don't, they feel like this bitch, this woman should not be helped. She should not be. But... Imagine this was your best friend, your ride or die, and she did some dirty dog shit like this. Now, you already had that conversation with her, like, bitch, you don't did, 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 and that, did, that, but now she's desperate. She really wants this dude back. Test it a little bit. What would you do to help out? And thank you, Jason uh, G, for that. Thank you, uh, Benita, for that. That Y'all, you see, y'all belong together. Y'all crazy as hell. Uh, uh, RB, no, I know, I know it's a messed up situation, but she, yeah, come on, man, help the lady out, fam. She's just trying to get in there. We're faking dead, though. She's faking dead is horrible, but hey, I put myself in a position where she I'm, said I said she her. got transferred overseas and someone said she dead. That nigga might have refrained from jacking off or something. Oh, my God. Nah. I, ne I never masturbate. She's <laughs> because... watching down on me. You know, like he might have been moving different, thinking she looking down on him. Yeah, true that, true that. All right, let's 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 go to this. Let's go to this one. This is uh, what was this supposed to do? Oh, Benita, damn, girl, it's good to have you back, Benita. It's a post. Like usually, I'm saying RB posted this. RB posted this. Benita posted this. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure question. Tell me a chore, a chore, people. Remember, this is a chore. That, that's something you'll make your kids do, okay? Tell me a chore you secretly love to do. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, RB, what you got? Bring it on, baby. I go last. Okay. Uh, KO, give me a chore that you secretly love to do. Man, I love to fold laundry. 
It's, it's, some, uh, uh, it's some about you take it out warm and then always iron it first, then just fold it. Like, and I have certain ways I fold it where it make more room in the drawer. I just like how neat and, you know, it I, and the warmness from the dryer and the clean smell when you smell it. It I just fold in love. But you ruin it with the iron smell. If you if you got it fresh out the dryer, why is you ironing it? It's already mm -hmm. wrinkle free. Are you not using dryer like, sheets? No, if it's something like denim or something, you know. You a starcher? You still starch? No. Denim is the same. I, I take my denim out, fold it up, call it a day, put it in the drawer. I don't. I steam it and then hang it up. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's why I don't wear. I only got like three pair of jeans anyway. I don't know. like fuck it. That's too much for me. I got to win pants and call it a day. I right. and my work pants and them holes, bro. I still ain't ironed them holes. You know I had them for a year now, and them holes come out the looking like poop. -poo. They look ready to go. I, was like, I like it. Okay, that's the, I'm wearing them cargo pants now. So I don't know if anybody fuck with the cargo pants. If you do, you know you ain't got to iron them holes. Them holes be ready when they come out the dry. Like put me on. I love that. All right, uh, Jason Z, what's yours? You, I, I seen you, and I agree with you. You said, because of Tetris, I enjoy the challenge of organizing things in certain spaces. That being yeah. said, washing dishes and putting away groceries. Uh, yeah, give me give, give me some more on that. No, nah, it's just it's one of those deals where, like, I got my little method, and I know exactly how I want things to be as far as how I'm going to get in the fridge, do the whole... Like once to get the groceries upstairs, I know exactly how I want to push it in the cabinets, and it's just like I don't know. That's my OCD when it comes to, um, you know, I gotta have it done a certain way. So like Benita will testify to this because she be washing dishes and I be going crazy. Like what the fuck are you doing? Um, but I have to let her do her way because you know, like when she washes dishes, she does it the way she do it. But I'm like, I need it to be a certain organization so I can fit everything into the fucking. Uh, dry stack or you know the dish the dish rack so that everything fits and it's just balanced and it just works I don't know how else to explain yes. it but it, it's just OCD well as soon as I seen yours I because I try not to answer until everybody wins and I go oh I'm just like I seen yours I'm like son of a bitch that's that's me <laughs> I love it I I the, the washing the dishes I'm not I'm not a I'm not a dishwasher what I am is a dishwasher user I put my shit in the dishwasher and I pull it out I love having a clean kitchen so yeah I'm, I'm with you on that all right all right that's what i'm talking about jason michael uh oh all i see is pool hold on let me let me start all i see is pool well he went into jj okay kim what about you what, what, what's your guilty pleasure of, of choice i know i know jason don't do shit. you do everything but g give me your favorite one of all the chores you do that's not true but he doesn't always do it right so sometimes i have to redo things but I would simply, um, I like organizing too. I don't know if I like organizing. I like organization, but mm. I, do, I do love swiffering my floors because I love a clean kitchen and a clean bathroom. Okay. I will clean do you, kitchen every single do you, day. If, if you like swiffering, I, I got a real serious question for you. Do you hum or do you sing ditties while you're swiffering? Um, neither. You don't hum. You oh, you haven't experienced swifting then. Oh no, my god, I, it changes. I'm it changes. For dirt. <laughs> I'm telling you, it changes. You can sing a song about looking. I'm looking for dirt. <laughs> I'm looking for dirt. It changes how you swift. I'm a well, swifter. No, I, 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 I tell Google oh, to play no, music. I tell Google. Oh no, no, I don't listen. I don't listen to music. My my, my wife when she's cleaning. I can't hear shit. I can't think how she cleans. I can't do it that way. She has music blasting because it like gets her in the zone. Okay. I like playing music, but I don't sing music. Okay, you listen, but don't sing. See, I'm the opposite. I'm a singer. I'd rather... My head, it's not out loud. Not out loud. All right, tell Jason Michael uh, when he come back, inform him so when I when I come back, I can ask. He All likes right. washing. Uh, he, he like washing what? Washing dishes. He's always washing dishes. Oh, okay. Dishwasher man, see, I, my hands. I can't look. I, I be in the pool. I have my hands above the water because I don't like my hands getting too wet and get wrinkly. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Doctor Renee, where you at? Let me see. My guilty pleasure chore that I like to do is 
organizing <laughs> paper stacks when I'm doing homework. <laughs> nah, look, I'm just a clean, organized type of person. But the main thing is keeping my room clean and organized so that when I come in my room and I'm ready to lay down, I know where I'm walking to and I don't have to step over stuff. Okay. Okay. So well, that's my main thing is keeping my room clean. I keep I I my kitchen has to be I'm like a clean person all around. So you about you, you got me to going to clean and in order. Clean. You got me going in the daddy mode because because that's my thing. I tell my kids every day: if you keep it clean, then I don't have to waste my time making you clean up. Right. What what what's the you pull a toy out? You done with it? Put it back. Put it away. You yeah. ain't got to clean up later. You're going to spend an hour cleaning up later when you can spend a, a two seconds putting two up seconds. right now. Yep. Yeah, Thanks I'm with you on that. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. That's, kitchen, I don't like doing it. My kitchen but has I, to I, be I, clean also because when I go in my kitchen to cook, I don't need, I don't want no dishes in my way where I got to like wash something in order for me to cook. To no. Use it. As soon yes. as I, I make breakfast every morning for myself. I wash my dishes after I eat. So the next morning I go downstairs to make breakfast, my pots and pans are clean. Or yeah. if I go downstairs and make dinner, my pots and pans are clean. Now let me let me ask you this, because you are you are a New Yorker, but now you live in in uh North Carolina. North Carolina. So now you're a southerner. Do you <laughs> do you use all with your pots and pans whenever you, after you uh, wash and dry them? Do I do what? Do you all your pots and pans bef after, before you put them up, after you wash and dry them, do you all before you put no. them up? Mm, I know what you mean, right. but that's only for cast iron. Okay, but that's a southern I thing. I have cast iron, but I haven't used them yet. But no, I wouldn't oil my pots and pans. I wouldn't, right, even, well, oil my, I wouldn't even oil my cast iron. You have you're to missing out. You're missing you out. Wash. Yeah, no, they, 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 they are non rust. The they, are non, they are non rust cast iron. Okay, never even, heard of. even though I, I haven't I heard, heard of it heard either. No but yeah, but I have not. You, you thought that olive oil on there? It, it, it sets the tone, man. It sets the tone. Some yeah, I have non rust um, cast iron. See, I'm going to tell you a secret. I got some non rust pots. And pans, but I put the mug in the wash and dryer. And when I I did I always open my dryer, my, my wash the dishwasher, so it the uh, steam can escape, so your shit actually be dry. I don't know if, if y'all had an issue. If y'all had an issue where you put your shit in the washing the uh, dishwasher, and it washes and it dries, but then when you go in the morning to open it up and look at it, it's all wet, spotted and shit. If you if after the shit dries and you're still awake, because most of the people do it at nighttime, if you're still awake. Open the dryer a little bit, keep it a crack so the steam can escape. This should be dry in the morning. But uh, that if you don't do that and you put pots and pans in the dishwasher, when you pick that motherfucker up, not only is water going to drip from it, but that water is going to be rusty. You're going to have rust water dripping from your shit. So, so that's just me putting y'all on guy. All right. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate that. I think everybody's organized and, and the kitchen is the best place to start organizing that. Uh, Bonita, where you at with it? But sweeping relaxes me. And then I also like to do my budget, my monthly budget. And I hate doing dishes, but doing dishes while I cook, I do those. So, doing dishes while you cook? Oh. Yeah. Just while I, you know. Need to oh. my answer. How was that? <laughs> so okay, well, I go you back to it. when you're done with something, you wash it, put it up. Yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. yeah I prefer to do it that way. Yeah, mm. okay. and I wish other people would do it's that. Not everybody's style, but <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. But some I, people I, are I, more I, organized. And some people do the dishes every day, and that's not. <laughs> If you do the dishes every day, you don't have as many to do. The same thing could be said about clothes, all of that stuff. Oh, oh, hey, this is how you put it. You lay a whole thing. Hey, I will change the way I do this if you change the way you do this. If you want to go a daily routine, we can do a daily routine, but you're going to do everything. 
Mm-hmm. It'd be like that. I don't know. Relationships, <laughs> relationships are difficult. Mm-hmm. Even, even yeah, the little you're, funny stuff. You're right. A low today keeps the chaos away. Mm, that's what, and that goes for sex and everything else. I love I, it. That's actually I what I was talking day. about. That's really what, <laughs> what I was talking about. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Dropping low. Dropping low <laughs> daily. I love it. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sierra, I know she just took your, uh, she took your answer when she said a low today. So what, what you got? What is your favorite, uh, your guilty pleasure? What's your favorite secretly love chore? Sure that you see um, I don't think I really have one. I mean, I was like cleaning out my car. I love what you say is called cars. chore for a reason, <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> I guess like Doctor when they said clean the bedroom. I guess but I listen to audiobooks and stuff when I when I clean up. So, so you 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 enjoy it? You enjoy the cleanup? Like, what's your favorite cleanup? I don't know. I'm gonna answer for. <laughs> Just cause, um, just I guess if we being did. like crazy, like dust, I guess, but you don't really have to do shit to dust. Oh, you dust? I don't dust. So yeah, you, yeah, you, you can come over here. You can come. You come. You come Swiffer over here. Shit, I hate dust. You look at my Xbox. I mean, the shit gets all over the, the, place, all over the place, but yeah. that's why I wear like a scarf on my on my locks or whatever. Nothing mm-hmm. like cleaning your vagina. Kind of get oh, you while you do. It's, it's like cleaning your vagina. That's crazy. Oh, no. But while we on the subject, dishing is not good for you. Don't it's not it. good. It's a self yeah, cleaner. Of it me. messes up yeah. your pH balance and all that shit. Like don't that. do it's that. Yeah. But I got a question though. Once you mess up your pH balance, does it not become regular? You have to get it back regular. Like you got to get it back to, there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm saying it's like if you do regular. Like mess up pH balance. No, you gonna have to get infection back to your nose. How, how yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what none of that shit means. I was just just egging on because yeah. I had the conversation before. How much um, it's so interesting how women will know about men's, you know, do y'all shit that go on. We know more about what's going on with y'all than y'all know about what's I going on with us. But okay, neither just don't have this. Thing. Hold on, but neither just don't have nothing to do with you. But mm-hmm. Sierra <laughs> fails you every day. <laughs> I don't feel every day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are you talking about my pussy pH No, no, I'm talking about how uh-huh. you how you be thinking you be knowing about what be going on with men's and their penis and you be wrong. <laughs> oh, no, because yeah. someone I had a conversation with someone and they were like, I slid in a female and I couldn't feel nothing. That you that doesn't make sense. You just not jumping into space. Like you're going to feel something. <laughs> I told you I, 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 always, I always relate things to something to you that's like when y'all be like, hey, a dude got a little wee wee, I didn't feel it. It's possible. Not feel nothing though? Well, right. you it feel doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't have no nothing. penis. I don't have no penis, so I'm I don't know, but I'm just like nothing though. Nothing. I've I've been inside of a vagina where I was like, I'm ready for this to be over now. This sucks. But it's, you it's, but it's, you felt something though, right? But right. It's, felt it's, something. It's the lack of the 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 tightness, the the gush, the when you get to that back, you know you get to that back wall and you push a little bit more and it go. Actually, it, I don't know, don't know, but love that. I feel okay, I felt the I felt the wind on my nuts saying for me trying to feel something. Wow. <laughs> the wind on my <laughs> the wind. The wind. That the is wow. crazy. So you just slid my it. No, no preparation or nothing. Hey. I tell you, you can't tell me how how my how my wee wee no. feels. You never had one. All right, I don't know how. I don't like that you call it a wee wee. I feel like this. I feel like it's disrespectful to your penis to call it a wee wee. Thank KO. I got that from KO exclusively. He got that from the smallest wee wee guy he know, KO. So it is what it is. All right. Oh my gosh, why y'all here lying like that? I I said shit. Man got a little wee wee. It is what it is. You don't have to say little. That's redundant. It's, oh, you right, know, right. little you penis wee-wee. or wee-wee. When you say little <laughs> like, wee-wee, that makes it seem guys, real man. small. No, I was going to, uh, because I know we only got so much time left, but uh, since Benita's back in here, the answer's for the uh, rebus. Mm. All right, cool. Let me get Jason G- let Jason Michael out the way, then we're going to do that. Jason Michael, what's your guilty pleasure cleaning up? And then I'm going to ask RB. Mm. Make it quick, because we only got 10 minutes. We got to get these answers for these puzzles. Um, and I already, we already know because she already told us. It was only one y'all didn't get. Oh, really? Probably Probably doing doing the dishes. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, she know fuck, you. Oh, my partner knows me so well. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one of these days. I'm going to get to Jason's and I'm going to get a, a, a list of questions 
about your, your <laughs> y'all seen that show? The, the, oh, we're playing the newlywed game. The newlywed <laughs> game, yeah. I'm gonna get the answers and see what y'all say, and then I'm gonna ask the ladies and see what we get. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna call it the Jason, <laughs> knowing the Jason, <laughs> or something like that. It's gonna be fun. All right, uh, RB, what you got? What's your guilty pleasure? What you love? Need to need had my about the about to clean about to wash the dishes as you cook. Like just just yeah. give me the whole kitchen area and I'll be happy. I'm yeah. gonna <laughs> wash yeah. my dishes. Just leave me alone till I tell you come see. Oh, yeah. oh God, stay out the kitchen while I'm yeah. in there, bro. Tell, yeah. tell him again. I don't think they heard you. <laughs> All right, let me so, let me yeah. ramble off these. So, let me ramble off. Oh shit. Motherfucker making noise behind me. I don't know what that is. All right, let me ramble off these real quick. Uh, Lady, she said Windex and Glass. That is so good. I love the smell and how it sounds. Uh, Windex and Glass cleaning counters. Steve said cooking. Uh, I said rearranging the cabinet. I like to, look, you throw that shit in there how you want to. When you're done, I'm going to put the plates stacked like this. Big ones at the bottom, middle, little ones. It's cups on this side, they're not going to be in the same shelf. Yeah, I'm doing all Ooh, that. That's, that's sleeping with the enemy. Julia Roberts, you seen that movie? Uh-huh. Yep, so okay. them didn't. They, yeah. Maybe maybe I got it from that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Farrah, Farrah says she like cleaning the bathroom, which, oh, I hate ugh, cleaning the bathroom. I got kids. Okay, that is the most <laughs> disgusting spot in the world to be in with kids. <laughs> uh, and then Bonita says sweeping is it, relaxing to me. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked her, Bonita, uh, uh, that I asked Kim when she, she said swifting. When you swiffering, when you sweeping, do you hum a little ditty or do you sing? Um, neither one. I'm more Nobody likely just, just I'm, I'm just thinking to myself. So do you listen to I music? I think that's really, uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I guess that's the, I guess that's the main point. I don't like listening to music because I think, I can't think when music on. When music is on, all I think about is music. And maybe that's why I chose to DJ because when I hear music, I'm yeah. thinking about the drum pattern, where have I heard that before? You know, stuff like that. So yeah, when I, I sing, Sweeping up. Oh, I missed the spot. Let me go back and get it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I, I do a little ditty. So, RB, she stole yours. That's the one you was going to go with. Okay, so here's the deal. Benita posted a plethora, I like that word, y'all know that, <laughs> of, uh, of little word games. What do you Reba, call them? Rebuses. Rebuses. Re uh, Re 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 yeah. Re Is it a plural? I'm not word? sure if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's Maybe it's Rebus. Rebus. Yeah, I, uh, I think it is ES. I'm not sure though. I, I'm I'm getting to it and I'm gonna click it. Uh, it was okay, only one of the of those that y'all didn't get. I was really surprised that I think that was you, Matt. That got Eiffel Tower. Yeah, uh, easy money, easy money. Um, the only one y'all didn't get was the go up and smoke. Go up and oh, up. So yours is more like phrases than I was doing words this week uh, on Wednesday for those who didn't go on Wednesday. Uh, that was pretty funny. It was so it was funny like, to see how uh, frustrated this guy. The standard, the standard rebus is like based on idioms for the English language. So it's like oh. stuff that we said. But you know the way you did it, I liked it too because it was challenging. And so I mean, you can create shit. your own. But they're normally, yeah. normally they're traditionally they're based on idioms. But okay. yeah, you know, the way Don't you did it. Yet, but okay. No, the way you did okay. it was challenging, and I like challenges. So. Was All right, so just to go, just to go through them real quick. She posted the first one is a red capital E and the word more four times in a row. Uh, now when you're doing these, I always get the, the colors. I always do the colors thing. That yellow background kind of threw me off a little bit because I was like yellow back, yellow back, red, red for, and then I see okay, it's a red E. There are four mores, so ready for more. Mm -hmm. That's how I got that one. Yeah, I was like ready for more, but I'm I'm still thinking of this yellow back before I say it. But that I didn't, is correct. I didn't get it. Okay, the next one. This is the one I did not get, and I sent I took a screenshot of it and sent it to my wife. Say, what's this? She didn't know. Like son of a bitch. Okay, you got it's a red background. I don't know if this matters. White letters, lowercase out, on sitting on top of a a slightly larger all caps leg. L e g uh. the word leg. So. <laughs> What is that answer for that one? Oh, uh, are you asking? Oh, I can't oh, share because somebody else shared. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can't even. Damn it, here. I can't steal it because I don't know the settings. Hold on. Oh, you share your sound. Okay, okay. Upstairs, upstairs on the computer. So I'm okay. sharing it upstairs on the computer. Hold on. Let me. Oh, okay. Let me 
If I um, well, photo, I can let me see. I stole RB. It. Are you asking oh. me what it is? Oh shit! Well, I was. It's um out on a list. Hold on, it's RB's out, about it's... to post. Okay. No, I just I just stole it so she can get it. Oh, it's out he's, on the it's a uh, out on the limb. Oh, because the oh, leg is a limb. Big son of a bitch! You know what I said? <laughs> yeah. I always say on top or under before. I said out under leg, out over leg, leg under out. Uh, I on on. That's a good one. See, and this is what I was telling uh, RB earlier that we do those and then we remember how we. Negotiate. Oh, now you got to release the RB so I can share. Okay, there you go. But we always uh, negotiated in our heads based on past ones. That's why next week, the ones I do next week, or not next week, week after next, it's going to be so much easier because people going to be like, okay, they said uh, snow plow and all oh, this and that. You know, it'll be easier because how fucked up those were on Wednesday. Oh, y'all didn't get this one either. The eight minus six. Okay, what was that? Okay, now because it's, you said the uh, the thumb of something before. Let me see. It's uh, split the difference. Yeah, oh, son of a say. bitch. That's it. That is <laughs> it. You yeah. Son of a bitch. Yes. Yeah. See, the thumb helped me with that because what we were talking about addition plus. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. So now with this one, it was minus. We said minus, subtract. We did not get a uh, difference. Damn it. it. It teaches you to, like, I don't know, it, it helps with language. And so, yeah, um, you're a hundred percent. The difference between eight and six is two. Split the difference, you son of a bitch. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Hey, I got Spell but yeah, too, I, too easy. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all uh, got all of those. Multiple I got, choice. Choice. I got a quick game for everybody who wants to participate. Uh -uh. I'm here. What you got? Okay. okay. This game is simple as possible. It's okay. it, it's like a chain. Somebody starts by saying a rapper, musician, or singer, and all you have to do is reply with somebody they made a song with and just keep it going. Collaboration. Oh, yeah, track. I like that. I like that. So collaboration. Like that. Job. Hold on. Is everybody are everybody seeing everything in order, right? Y'all see my face first, RB. KO, Jason G, Jason Michael, Renee. Is that how y'all see it? Wait, so so wait, how's it go? So like let's say I say Nicki no. Minaj and then no, Matt that. Matt will respond with a song by Nicki Minaj, but then who what does the no, next no, person say? No, not the song. The, the, no, okay. the art, uh, uh, Matt, a Matt will say like, like you oh, say, you would say oh, so, so you would say Nicki Minaj, he'll see. say like Lil Wayne. Then you could so say somebody like six that worked degrees with Lil of separation. Wayne. Mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. it's like a six degrees of separation thing. Oh, they got a name for this. It's called six degrees of separation. I well, we used that to do. I used to do it. No, I used to do it with movies, but I never did it with artists. We did so, it with yeah, actors. Do it. Actors. We did let's, it. With actors. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So RB, you got to give us a rotation, uh, because apparently every, I said the thing, but it's not showing the same way. Because on my screen it says me, RB, KO, Jason G, it's Jason Michael, Renee. That's why. Who yeah, all, you got to tell it to follow host order. Who all like, go to well, who all I'm not upstairs. Everybody. Right? everybody. Right? Man, no. don't say everybody. Then we get to true, somebody true. in this 30 seconds and we'll be like, hey. Yeah. That's, that's why I say I, I'm playing. I'm playing. I mean, if she would have said like I mean, I don't Come play on. no games, but I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That's it? Oh, yeah. RB, you can do this. Go to yours and set the screen where everybody sees how your screen is. Yeah, yeah. Go to view and um, what the is top it? right uh, corner follow, view. Follow, follow host, host order. Uh, that way, everybody can see. Follow, you follow host. Please. Follow, follow host, host uh, order. Yeah, go to view and then follow like a couple of slides down. Or Wait, you're on a PC, right? I mean, you're on a yeah. computer, laptop. Okay, yeah, you should say we click on view where the boxes is at, and then it'll have follow host order when it dropped in. It's a speaker gallery, multi speaker, change thing. Wait, are uh, you the host? I, I think I think I am. Yeah. You on the I'm right hand side. Side. on the right hand side, or but if you, you if you're not the host, right hand side. You if you're not the yeah. host though, you won't see it. No, I, I already said it to follow. That's why I thought it would already be there. I did that before I left the house. 
Hey, you the host, Matt, so you got to do yeah. it. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. On, on my screen, and I, I can share my screen. Y'all so, just listen to the order that he says, and remember, you're behind the next person. How about that? Okay. Uh, look, he go. He go right here. He go my screen. Uh oh. Okay, we just look at this. Pinch out for bigger feet. Okay. Okay. Can everybody see it? Yeah, I see your background. I don't see you your. See how it's two of you? You fucking us. Uh, no, I'm but we can't view. see. I see your. Um, I see your background. Yeah, your back, your your background, but we don't see your. Uh, yeah, oh, we don't see your um, Zoom that shit. That shit is. Pull your Zoom to the other page. You got two screens up, right? No. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> this guy was the water, and we're good. Hold on, I'm almost here. I'm almost at the house. computer. That's a good idea. Let's share. We might do this on on New Wednesday. Yeah, we used to do oh, it goodness. at work. Um, we used to do it at work, but we would do like um actor, movie, actor, movie, yes, actor, yes. movie. So like say if I put six cents down, then Thank somebody you, would put Bruce Willis. And then the next person would have to put a movie Bruce Willis was in Die Hard. And then the second person would have to do an actor who was from Die Hard. And it it was something to pass the time while we was like waiting tables. But I ever did it with artists, and I think that'd be cool to do it with artists. It would be hard to do it with songs, though, because generally it's not that many people on the song. What happened when that go? I'm right here. He just, he just... All right. Whew. All right, so let's see. My bad. View. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Follow host order. So what I see is, do y'all, did it change? Anybody? It says, yeah. on the top row is me, <laughs> RBKO. Jason I Michael, don't know. Jason it's... G, Dr. Renee. No, it's different. No, it's no, different. It's different. Jason Michael, me, Jason G. You in the second row? Okay, there you go. Now, yeah. now it's now it's, now it's you. Yeah, the yeah. way I said it. Yeah. Everybody's in the green. Everybody can see it. I got yeah. Benita. I, I got like, Jason G. I mean, it's it's cool. Okay, so yeah, me, got, um, RB. Mine, you got is you, me, KO, Jason Michael, Jason G. Ms. Renee Bonita this year. That's that's exactly yeah. how I got it. Okay, cool. So that's the order for anybody playing. Um, Sierra, we are not going to wait 10 seconds for you to answer. So go on and get that unmute button ready. All right, so do I start? And then you go. Go ahead. Okay. Justin Timberlake. Clips. That's you, KO. Where you at? I didn't hear none of them. Of course. Oh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's like, 11 o'clock and y'all wasn't talking about shit. Little anyway. Sierra, like, you talk about me. Hey, hey, how about this? How about this, RB? We use this as a get the fuck out uh, situation. Oh, well, if you get it wrong, we just kick you from the group. And that's how we'll end we the show. Yeah, we'll just end the, the, the show. Classroom. Every person that get out, and we'll have a champion. All right? We're going we're gonna to run it back. Me, RB, KO. Mike, J Michael, G, Renee, Benita, Sierra. Let me take right. myself out because I don't even know what the hell going on. Oh, don't don't worry about it. I got you. All right, boom. There you go. Easy peasy. No, I'm not reporting him. Why would I report him? These people are stupid. All right, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna start over. Um, Nelly, Jaheen. Um, Tyrese. Uh, the brat. What song they was on together? What? Who? Oh, wait, time out. Pause. Pause. We're doing a pause. I forgot. We forgot to do the rules. No, Benita. Unmute. Come on, unmute. Damn it. Who was you asking? Who was on the song together? Uh, Jaheem and Nelly. But then uh, Jaheem and Nelly was Jason? on my place together. And then what? Jason. G Jason said Tyrese. Yeah, and so Tyrese Jason, and him is that's what you that's what your question is. No, Jason G. No, Jason D said the Brad. I mean, I'm sorry, Jason Michael said. So when was the Brad and Tyrese? What song they? Were what do you like? Whatever you like. What do you yeah, like? Bro. A whole lot of fall play. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, Benita. Uh, uh, we didn't say the rules, so I'm not kicking you out now. But oh, if so you challenge, I would be kicked out. If, if I yeah, if you me? challenge somebody shit and it's right, you get kicked out. And if you if some, you challenge somebody stuff and they're wrong, they get kicked out. 
but we're gonna keep right. it going. Jason G, you ended with Tyrese. No, you ended with, with the, the Brad. With the Brad. Doctor Renee, somebody who collaborated Brad, with the Brad. Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott. Okay. Lil Kim. Oh me, uh, Keisha Cole. Oh yeah. Oh, that's me. Um, Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Jay Z. Beyonce. Um, I guess it counts. Destiny's Child. You said mm. Destiny. Yeah, but okay. okay. I, Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not challenging nothing. <laughs> what you said? He said Destiny. He said, he said Destiny's, Destiny's Child. Child. Yes. Oh my God. Um, yeah. What's the name of Shell? Michelle. Michelle? Oh. Her name is Michelle. I can't remember her last name. Hey, Doc. I'm sorry. You, you talk, I'm right, sorry. No, you talking about Michelle that's Williams. Saying. And that's why you yeah. were saying, that's why Benita was saying, oh, I don't know if that counts because Destiny Child is Michelle. That's why Jason shouldn't get it do, either. Do, no, wait, wait. Do Michelle have any solo songs? Yeah. That she, can, that she can collaborate with people. Because if you look at them on like the pages and stuff, it'll say, but Beyonce. It'll say Beyonce, it'll say Michelle, it'll say Kelly, but it also it'll say Destiny's Child. So that counts. But it, does Michelle have a song that she can? She does. Yes, Michelle has songs. All right, don't say who she collaborated with and see if Benita's in. All right, Benita, Michelle Williams. I, I mean, I know she went like gospel. gospel? Or well, then no, I could just say Lil Wayne because she did collaborate with Lil Wayne when she, she was Destiny's Child. All right, I'm with it. Go ahead, Lil Wayne, Sierra. Chris Brown. Um, Joel Santana. Cameron. Yeah. Jason David Gill. Cameron. 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 Drake. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Rihanna. Wait, who'd you say? Rihanna. Oh, my God. Okay, kick me out. <laughs> I, love I love it. So do I gotta pick up where the shit right. left off? You're gonna go you're gonna start at Rihanna. Hey right, Doc. Friend. Yeah, well, I mean we didn't say we all right, so that's another rule we gotta set in place. You can't re, -re recycle names. That was not a rule set in place. Now it is. She got Chris Brown. So you go ahead, Benita. And she's still in it, right? So she's I'm still, still in it. off with yeah. Chris Brown. No okay. recycling. Um, if you recycle you get kicked. Ooh. Buster Rhymes. Um, uh, uh, Tigger, they were in uh, they were in um. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah. Damn, oh, did. Is it? Oh. No, that's that's <laughs> correct. Big Tigger was on his album. <gasps> that's the you went. Hey, you went. I am hey, done. Went, done. That was so hard. I'm done. We don't have a whole lot of collab. No, because Big Tigger's not a rapper. He just was on his album. That's crazy. How do you know that, Sierra? You don't even listen to music. I mean, <laughs> I mean you, gave, <laughs> you, you gave up with all these technicalities. You could have said anybody that was on, that was on the, basement. the basement. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's already oh, that's uh, true. it's already uh, 10, 11, 10. So I was like, okay, we had a good time. Once I exit, everybody's getting kicked anyway. So. <laughs> 